Hi guys, welcome to Abduez. Behind me, you can see the air we're staying at. And behind that, you can see the hotels everyone else is staying at. We're paying 11 euros a night to stay here. They're paying 130 euros a night to stay there. They have to look at what theoretically is a car park full of camper vans. And we get to look at this. Right, so I brought you up here to the entrance of the air. This seems to cause a little bit of confusion for most people, us included. But what you'll see is when you drive in here, is you're faced with these barriers. You'll drive up here. When you stop here, this will automatically open. So you'll then automatically, subconsciously, keep driving. You'll stop here. But this barrier will not move. So you'll turn this way. See a little keypad? but then you're faced with what do I do? And I can't read French. So you'll wander around for a bit like we did, wondering what to do with your camper van parked between a barrier that way and a barrier that way, stuck. But then you may notice that little shed. So you'll walk down here, duck under the barrier and into the shed. Once in here, you'll find this machine. This is where you pay for your entrance. It's 11 euros a day, a maximum of four days at once. And once you've bought your ticket, you'll be given a receipt with a code on it. That code is what you then put into the machine. So back at the machine, you'll enter your code. Jump back in your van. This barrier will open and you can keep driving. Then you face it with the decision. Left or right. If you go to your right, you can go straight down into the air. If you go to your left, you've got recycling bins, if you've got any rubbish. And if you keep going, you've got your service points. One to your right, and one to your left. 
The choice is yours. These service points have both got two fresh water fill up points. Just press the buttons and away you go. And one WC empty. You've also got electric hookup if you need to top up your batteries. What we also have up here is a toilet block. This here is probably the awkward way to get in. Is your toilet block. To the left, you have your bins, just for your garbage. To the right, is the toilets. Right, inside the toilet block, you've got your ladies' toilet and your gentlemen's toilet. Both fairly clean, toilet paper as expected, and dryer. And a sink. Fairly well equipped, nice and clean, saves you filling up your porta potty. So back outside from the toilets now, and we'll take the easy way back through. You'll be pleased to know they cut you out a path from the snow. So that's always nice. We'll take a walk down to the air, show you what's going on down there. So we're back at our junction here. I'm going to take the left hand turn, which is the quick way down. Save walking past all the services and we'll take you down into the air. As you can see, there's a chairlift that runs right over the beginning of the air, which is exactly where we decided to park. Just there. Some might say this is noisy, but it's only noisy if you're late getting up for the skiing. So what it is really is a good alarm clock to tell you, you you're already late. Another thing that might surprise you about this air is where that chairlift runs through a tunnel is in fact a runway. Cute plane crit. That pretty much concludes our tour of Alpe d'Huez Air. As you can see, the nice big air, lots of parking spaces. The only time I think this might be a problem is in summer holidays or half terms. But in the winter, it seems like there's lots of spaces most of the time. So, anything else you want to know? Put in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.